The objective for this video is to learn to interpret the linear correlation coefficient. Statisticians use a measure called the correlation coefficient to determine the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. The population correlation coefficient, denoted by the Greek letter rho, is the correlation computed by using all possible pairs of data values, x, y, taken from a population. The linear correlation coefficient computed from the sample data measures the strength and direction of a linear relationship between two quantitative variables. The symbol for the sample correlation coefficient is r. The linear correlation coefficients displayed in this video are called the Pearson Product Moment Correlation Coefficient. The linear correlation coefficient ranges between the values of negative 1 and 1. When the linear correlation coefficient has a value close to 1, it indicates a stronger positive relationship between the variables. In other words, as the values of the explanatory variable increase, so do the values of the response variable. When the linear correlation coefficient has a value that is close to negative 1, it indicates a stronger negative relationship between the variables. In other words, as the values of the explanatory variable increase, the values of the response variable decrease. As the value of the linear correlation coefficient gets closer to 0, it indicates a weaker relationship between the variables. When correlated values of the explanatory variable and response variable are perfectly linear with a positive slope, the value of the linear correlation coefficient r is equal to 1. But perfectly correlated variables do not occur in nature. Some variation is expected. As variation occurs, the scatter plot of the correlated variables can appear to have an approximately linear relationship. When this variation increases and the band that captures the scatter plot becomes wider, the value of r begins to approach 0. When correlated values of the explanatory variable and response variable are perfectly linear with a negative slope, the value of the linear correlation coefficient r is equal to negative 1. Again, when this variation increases, and the band that captures the scatter plot becomes wider, the value of r begins to approach 0. This scatter plot shows the relationship between the length of the femur in centimeters and height in centimeters for a sample of adults. Although there is quite a bit of variation in this data set, the majority of the points appear to have somewhat of a positive linear relationship. The linear correlation coefficient for this data set is r equal to 0 0.363. This scatter plot shows the relationship between height in inches and weight in pounds for another sample of adults. It appears as though there is a positive linear relationship between these variables. The linear correlation coefficient for this data set is r equal to 0 0.532. This scatter plot shows the relationship between horsepower and fuel efficiency in miles per gallon for a sample of production passenger vehicles. The linear correlation coefficient for this set of data is r equal to negative 0.778. However, in this instance, it would not be appropriate to apply a linear correlation coefficient since the data appear to have a relationship that is not linear, but rather follows more of a curve. In this video, we learned how to interpret the linear correlation coefficient.